Good morning, everybody. So the last week, uh, I've been training my pigs to the electric fence. So I started off by, in their uh, permanent pen here, I ran an electric fence just on the inside of the perimeter of it. And then, uh, so they were able to touch it for the first time and get a shock from it for the first time and just kind of learn what it was and learn not to, learn to stay away from it so that they wouldn't uh, get in, you know, get shocked. So I got them trained to that in there. Um, so even if they did go under it, then they'd still be in a uh, permanent pen that, so they couldn't get uh, escape or get out. So once a couple days of that, then I strung out an electric fence out here, um, just with these little skinny fiberglass posts and this wire. And so I strung it out and I let them out and they've been able to come out here for two days. I've just let them out during the day. And last night was the first time that um, I'd let them out all night. So they were out all day yesterday and all night yesterday and they didn't escape, they didn't get out. And they're still, all three are in this morning. So that's good. That means that they're trained to the electric fence good and they're respecting uh, the boundaries of it that I set for them. So yeah, but now, now that they're training the electric fence, now I'm gonna be able to hopefully just graze them across this whole bottom throughout the summer and they'll have all the green grass that they want uh, to eat. So today we are branding our first bunch of calves. I think there's 24 of them. And then tomorrow we'll do um, another bunch of around 20 uh, heads. So we're going to, we got the truck out last weekend, um, but we used a pickup to haul um, the heifers over summer pasture because it was still a little muddy. And the truck, um, it probably would've got stuck a lot easier. But today uh, it's kind of dried up. We got a little rain this week. Um, I'm not sure how much it amounted to, but um, probably it was a good half of a day of rain anyway. So uh, I don't, I, I never checked the rain gauge. I never heard what we ended up getting, but um, it's 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 dried up since then. That was on Wednesday, I think. But so anyway, we're gonna get the truck started and get it pulled over and hook it up to the horse trailer. From switching between pickup to our truck, we have to move the neck on our horse trailer up um, to the very bottom hole. Um, because if it's not up to the very bottom hole, then the trailer doesn't sit very level. And the back end of the trailer will kind of drag if we go into an approach and stuff. So we got to adjust this up.
these uh, get these in and get the calves sorted off the cows and brand them and then we'll haul them over to uh, some grass, some summer pasture.
since we sorted everything, uh, we sorted the calves off the cows, we have to, we know some of the pairs numbers, we know the cow and the calves numbers, some of them we know, but 90% um, of them we don't. So we're just gonna let these calves up into here with the cows and then uh, wait for them to, wait for them to pair up and then once they're paired up then we can, uh, then we know that they're a pair and we can take them over to summer pasture. But we just wanna make sure we take the right cows with the right calves. Cause if not, we'll get them over there and the calves will be trying to crawl a fence and the cows will be trying to come back to find their calves because the way cows and calves pairs work is they'll, if they've lost each other, they'll go back to the last place that um, they've sucked. So we haul them all the way south of town out to our summer pasture. They're gonna try to come back um, to here to find their calf because they think it's missing uh, if we don't bring the right pair over there. So we gotta make sure that the right pairs are together when we haul them over there. so that we didn't have to we've got like a homemade panel thing that we usually put in the front of the trailer to put the calves in and then so then we have more room uh, for the cows it works better than just swinging the first section the gate section um, and closing the calves in there because then we got more room to put more cows on but uh, we didn't have that gate set or that homemade gate in there today that panel thing so we just closed the front section of calves so we didn't have as much room for cows so we're only hauling nine per load today but we'll do two loads of nine and then we branded 20 of them so we'll have two left over and we're gonna brand again tomorrow so we'll haul them other two tomorrow uh, with the stuff we brand tomorrow so okay so we just dumped that first bunch out and uh, I think they got all paired up it sure looks like it I think this last cow just found her calf there um, so they're all paired up and uh, going out. So yeah, that's, you get them in and you sort them, sort the calves off the cows. Then you have to pair them back up again to make sure you're hauling over the right cows and calves. Um, and then when you load them, you gotta separate them. Otherwise the cows will trample the calves and step on them and stuff. So you gotta load just the calves and separate them. Then load just the cows. And then when you dump them back out on pasture, you gotta make sure that they pair up make sure that because you dump the cows out first is is what we do anyway we dump the cows out first so we got to make sure that the cows stick around until I get the calves out of the trailer and make sure that they them cows don't take off make sure they stay and find their calf and then they can go but it looks like they're uh, they're all good to go looks yeah every cow's got a calf with her so they're all paired up and uh, and walking out so they're on grass now which is good good to see so we're gonna head back and get the uh, uh, load number two and then that'll be it for the day so it's like a little over an hour round trip um, to come over here dump them and then get back so uh, by the time I get back they should have the rest of them paired up and uh, the second load ready to load and, and bring back over so I should just be able to get there and load and then come back right away so yeah
second load is uh, dropped off to summer pasture. Uh, everything looks paired up, everything looks good. So nothing, uh, no cows took off without their calf. They all waited for their calf and got paired up and then took off. So that was good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head home and uh, see what we can uh, get into this afternoon. Okay, it's after lunch now. And we're over here uh, south of town where we just hauled them pears to this morning. I uh, just come over, I'm gonna check on everything and make sure they're still paired up, make sure there's still 18 of them over here and uh, make sure nothing took off or uh, make sure nothing's balling, which you can't hear anything balling, so that's good. That means that they're uh, still all paired up. So we're just gonna take a quick drive through them and make sure that there's still 18 of them over here and that everything looks all right, that they've got uh, plenty of water to drink stuff like that which they should because the dams are all full because of the amount of rain we've had recently so we're just gonna make sure everything's all right We found 18 cows and 18 calves, so 18 pairs over here, which is what we uh, hauled over this morning. So nothing took off, and everything looks really content. Uh, calves are laying down, cows are laying down, just enjoying the the sun and the grass over here. So everything looks good over here. Uh, we're gonna head back and move the yearlings uh, over by uh, Grandpa's, and then uh, we'll be done for the day. Right, guys yearlings are moved um i think with that that's just about gonna do it for this video so thanks for watching guys we really appreciate it uh if you're new here remember to hit that subscribe button and the like button that really helps us out and we really appreciate it a lot but yeah as always we'll catch you in the next one